So, um, apparently we have a message from our car sponsor. So please, we're happy to hear your kind words. to the Queen of Humanity Cross River Pageant. Come on, let's hear it. We've had virtue, we've had the glamour. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Your Excellency, the quintessential wife of Adia Gobayo, Reverend Ayoiwa Basio Tu. Your Excellency, the Ambassador of Belgium, who happened to attend the same school with me. I got to find out that this is a welcome to Cross River State. <laughs> encourages not just the deaf child, but uh, every individual, um, and then advocates for intelligence, good representation, um, compassion, because passion is uh, passionate about his people, and so anything good for the people, that's why his mandate is people first, so anything that will bring joy, sweetness, because this is why in the era or season of sweetness, anything that will bring them um, joy and happiness to the people is what he stands for. So Obasio too would stand for it. There's a round of applause for the Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Peter Ode. Well, I'm not doing this alone. My name is Peter Bryan. I'm feeling the pulse of the crowd alongside a lady who is a queen in her stead, one that wears the crown of resilience. She's looking forward to seeing the best, and I'm sure every single person here is also looking forward to seeing the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're looking forward to seeing the best. All right. So we have here the veteran singer, songwriter, Sonny Neji. A round of applause, please. All right. Thank you, sir. So I would like to ask, now, we all know that Cross River State has been known to share a lot of cultural values, events, activities. We are known for this. Take, for instance, the festival, the Calabar Canvo Festival. You don't have to go to Rio. Just come to Calabar to experience all the fun. Now, sir, what are you also looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, the night has started well. I've seen all kinds of works, cat works, camel work, goat work, uh, tiger work, cow work. And so I'm expecting to see a whole lot this night. On the stairs, I want to drown. I am brave, I am proof, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look up, because here I come. In the marching out of the green eye. I'm not here to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Oh, oh, this is me. Oh, 
They're so beautiful and amazing. Huge round of applause for them. So, my dear and darling judges, I know that this must have been very, very tough. Because, they, see their smile. I wish everyone could go home with winner. But sadly, we had to cut it down slowly but surely to get to our queen of humanity. So, I'm going to call out some virtues. If you hear your name, just wave and stay. But sadly, if you don't, you would have to please exit the stage. I'm so sorry. So, so, so sorry. The first virtue that gets to stay is opportunity. Run of applause for her, please. The second virtue that gets to stay is sweetness. She has some fans, beautiful. The third virtue is kindness. She has some fans. 
The sixth virtue is benevolence. Encourage them, encourage them, please. The seventh virtue is love. We all love love, don't we? The eighth virtue is sympathy. And the ninth virtue is morals. Morals signify yourself, put your hand up. Is beauty. Please signify yourself. Beauty, where are you? Oh, all the way at the back there. Beautiful smile. The eleventh virtue we have is grace. Grace, where are you? Ah, oh, see. Oh my lord, beautiful. Then the twelfth virtue we have here is togetherness. Please signify togetherness. Together. Oh, there she is. Beautiful, beautiful girl. sing now is a scene I wrote it for this day. It is titled Beauty. Do be good for body. Nine sights every day.
maiden contest, Queen of Humanity. You're all welcome to this maiden edition of Queen of Humanity. It is my pleasure to have all of you here. Um, why, why we are gathered here is basically because of the passion I have inborn for service to humanity. Divinely deposited inside of me by God, but fueled by my love for service to humanity. That's why we are here. And finding it in a different dimension this time around. And hence we are here to witness this beautiful lady standing here, hoping that they'll bear the image of the organization, which is Humanity Without Borders Empowerment. Jews are learning to, I'm so sorry, but you have to the stage. Thank you so much for competing. Thank you. Round of applause for that, please. You're all very beautiful. Thank you. If given the title of Queen of Humanity, what would you do with the crown? That is, how impactful would you be if you were to win this crown? Thank you very much for that question. Distinguished First Lady, my Admirable Georges, ladies and gentlemen, when I win the crown, I have so many acts of humanity to do. Like that first lady is my role model when it comes to that. First of all, I would like to be a role model to people who the world has termed as not beautiful enough. People who are disabled and can't speak for themselves. I want to be a voice in the voice group. Also, if you notice, People and organizations now pay so much interest to the girl child that they neglect the male gender, forgetting that the high rates of crime, drugs, and fraudulent activities on the internet are mostly done by the male genders, which leads to high rate of number of them in prisons and mental homes. My project will be to have vocational skills training for young people, especially when they are in their teenage age, guys, so that I can teach them different skills. I'm personally, I'm self-employed, I'm a beautician, so I can teach them skills on makeup artistry, barbing, carpentry, etc. so that when, while they are growing, they can pick legal means of making income rather than succumbing to things like yahoo yahoo, prostitution, and etc. Also, in this part of our country, if you notice, we hardly have homes for the aged. There are some people that when they get old and their children are not around, they are neglected and they have to suffer at a very old age. So if the government is willing to assist me, I would love to build a home for the aged where I can have them there and take care of them. I would also love to change the narrative that pageant queens are just beauty with the queens because I want to sit on the table with men and be able to make constructive, you know, influences, you know, carry out things that are very important. And Thank you very much, opportunity. And what social or community issues bother you as a person? And then how do you plan to make a difference in these issues if you win the crown this night? My applause, my question, please. My applause. Thank you, doctor, for that question. First of all, I love humanity so much, I love humans. So when I heard about this pageant, I saw it as an opportunity to help people. I don't like seeing people crying. I don't like seeing people quiet when they need to talk. We have many social issues affecting both genders. I'm not going to be biased. First of all, we have the issue of rape on both genders. Like she said here, we pay more attention to the female child. For example, in Nigeria, if a female is raped, we would carry the, the law on her head and make sure she gets justice. But if a male is raped, they're going to take it like a normal thing, thinking that it's having fun with it. There are many social issues. We have the issue of poverty. Many people don't have access to food, shelter, 
clothing. These are the basic necessities of life. They work for the rich but end in peanuts. And that's what I'm here to end. If I win and I know that I will win this pageant, I'm very proud. I will make sure that poverty is eradicated. I will make sure that it is eradicated. There are many social issues I haven't mentioned here. I will make sure I look into it. How will I reduce poverty? There are many ways. I can open a trust fund. The government will help me. I am very sure my, my first lady will do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will open schools. I'm a writer, I'm a screenwriter, I'm a content writer. I will show people. My question goes to the virtue of sweetness. What's the biggest challenge facing women in the world today and how do you plan to address it? Good evening, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest challenge in the world facing women today is gender inequality. <laughs> women are treated like second class citizens who are not allowed to do certain things. So I would use the crown to help women to get to where they want to be and also to try to ed eradicate gender inequality for the women. It's a very hard task because it's something that each and every woman here we're trying to eradicate in our own little way. But I also try to use the office to eradicate it with the help of the first lady. I mean, she's given us women hope to be what we want to be also by giving us this stage to express ourselves. So I'll- The second runner up who will be exiting the stage is Help. Thank you so much for competing. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to call-
thank you for watching if you're new to this channel consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest video